Meghan Markle is facing a significant setback as Prince Harry plans a return to the UK, leaving her to deal with mounting pressures. The Duchess of Sussex, known for her role in Suits, has encountered a roadblock with her American Riviera Orchard brand. The United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO, has rejected her trademark application, creating a challenging situation for Meghan. The USPTO's rejection of the trademark application comes as a surprise to many. Meghan now has three months to respond to the non-final officer action issued by the USPTO, with failure to do so potentially resulting in the application's abandonment. This development adds to the delays already experienced by the brand, which has yet to release any products to the public despite launching its Instagram account five months ago. The USPTO cited several reasons for rejecting Megan's application in a 48-page document. These include the need for more precise descriptions of goods, compliance with multiple class application rules, and disclaimers on descriptive terms related to Riviera. Items like cocktail napkins, pans, and cooking utensils were deemed too vague by the trademark office. Additionally, the trademark bid risks refusal due to its geographically descriptive nature, which could hinder other businesses from using similar descriptions for their products. Despite this setback, insiders remain confident that Megan will address the issues and continue to pursue her brand. A source close to Megan stated, she is still very much committed to her brand and has three months to respond. There is no way this will lead to abandonment. However, concerns about the brand's future persist, with PR and brand marketing expert Matt Yanofsky emphasizing the need for a clear business plan to ensure the brand's success. Meanwhile, reports suggest that Prince Harry is planning a return to the UK, where he is rekindling relationships with old friends and allies, potentially marking a significant shift in his life after his move to the US with Meghan.